It's New Day Northwest with Amity and Tracy. Well, hello and welcome to the show, my friends. How are we all doing today? Are your hearts handling the nerves of Mariners playoff baseball? It's exhausting, right? I'll admit that yesterday's loss to Houston was less than ideal. The M's bats were hot. They jumped out to an early lead and never looked back. But the pitching fell apart late in the game and the Astros snatched away what looked to be a Mariners victory with a dramatic walk-off home run. The good news is we get to do it all again tomorrow. Game two is at 12.30 in Houston, this time with M's ace pitcher, Luis Castillo on the mound. So if anyone knows about the ups and downs of postseason baseball, it's our next guest. He was behind the home plate for every other M's playoff run. He was the guy picked to hoist the Mariners flag atop the Space Needle last week to send this year's playoff squad off in style. Welcome back to New Day, former catcher Dan Wilson. Thank you for being here. Oh, it's great to be here. And yeah, Mariner baseball has been very, very exciting this season. I mean, exactly. That's why you're here. So you were actually booked on our show today to talk with Buki, Buki Gates uh, about the program you're involved with, Baseball Beyond Borders. Given where the Mariners at, we had to we had to touch on that first. So how do how do these guys feel like after a loss like yesterday? Yeah, yesterday was tough, and I think this is the tough part about playoff baseball. The highs are really high, and mm -hmm. the lows can be very low. Tough one yesterday. I think the they're, they're, all is not lost uh, by any means. You're hoping for a split in Houston. They can still do that. They have uh, Luis Castillo on the mound tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So it's I, I expect uh, a bounce back. This team has shown resilience all season, so I expect a big bounce back tomorrow. And coming home to see with uh, this electric factory across the street it's gonna be a lot of fun it is an electric yeah. factory you this is you're no stranger to this type of pressure this type of uh, excitement what what do the players need what might help them focus well I, I think the one thing that they have done in the playoffs so far this year that I think has been outstanding is they've gotten off to a really really good start offensively mm -hmm. they've given the uh, the pitching staff some some runs early in the ball game I think that sets the tone um, unfortunately they weren't able to hold on yesterday but against Toronto that was a that was a great formula for them. so tomorrow I think uh, we, we hope for the same kind of start come out early uh, just show them that it's water off the back and, and we're, we're back here we're ready to play and uh, I tell you what uh, this is this is a team that's done that all season long so I expect it again tomorrow so I, I asked you what the players need to do but what do us fans need to do <laughs> we are ready to do anything they need yeah it's tough and I think this is a time when when players probably need fans more than anything mm -hmm. uh, especially when they get back home here uh, I, I know say or sorry T-Mobile will be um, extremely loud It'll be uh, the, the place that it's been all season long. So I think they really are going to need uh, the fan support tomorrow or uh, on Friday. And uh, sorry, on sun Saturday. Yeah, I guess um, it gets confusing. There's I a lot know. going on I this know. weekend in, in Seattle. But so I, I, th I, I expect a really packed house and, and just loud. So the guy that's in your former position, Cal Raleigh, what do you think of him? Uh, he's been outstanding. I think as a young player coming up to the minor leagues, we knew that this kid was going to be a, a really good player. Um, and he has really come out this year. He, a little uh, lapse early in the season, went down to Tacoma and came back and was just uh, did what he had to do uh, to, to become the player that he has. And he's just done it offensively uh, with the bat, the big home run to get him into the playoffs. But defensively, he's done it all season long, too. Uh, he's just become a complete player. That's amazing. Are there any other players that you're really particularly excited about? Well, this whole club is, is fun to watch. Um, I think that's the, the beauty of it. And I think uh, when, when you talk about a playoff team, it can be any one particular player on any given night. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's hard to name one guy uh, or, or two guys because <laughs> it's, it's everybody up and down the lineup. And uh, these guys have done it all season long. And, and right on into the playoffs, uh, it's going to be exciting again on, on the weekend. And these guys are really just putting their heart and soul into it. For anyone who maybe did not follow your career, how did you get to Seattle? Uh, I came up originally with uh, the Cincinnati Reds after playing college baseball at the University of Minnesota. Uh, was came here in a trade, and uh, back in 1994, and uh, you know just again was was uh, taken by the club. Uh, really had a great group of guys that we played with for a long period of time, and uh, it was just a kind of a love affair with Seattle when we first got here, and and uh, we've we've stuck around. Speaking of that love for Seattle, I had wondered, where are you from originally? Minnesota, in the Midwest? From the Chicago area originally, went to school in Minnesota. But uh, yeah, it's been, it's, we're a long way from home. 
and you've stuck around the Mariners organization. So many players I've noticed who played for the Mariners, maybe weren't from here, have stuck around the Mariners organization. Why do you think that is? Well, I think it's it's uh, we, it, for some reason it just it feels like family, and um, it's something that that we've poured our lives into. Um, obviously, guys like Edgar Martinez, um, Alvin Davis, uh, Ichiro, uh, a lot of players have stuck around Ken Griffey Jr. Although he doesn't live here, uh, has stayed very involved with the club. So uh, there's been a lot of guys that that have been here. Uh, a lot of guys that have continued to support the Mariners, and uh, it's it's we, we we love it. We we had such a great experience here. Uh, the community here has has really taken to the team and has really uh, wrapped their arms around them, so to speak, and uh, that's why we love it so much. All right, final question: What are you going to say to the Mariners as they uh, head on to tomorrow? Uh, just keep playing the way they've been playing. I, this is just a bump in the road. Uh, again, the resilience has been there all season long, so uh, I expect them uh, to, to bounce back. They have a day-to-day -to, -day to kind of swallow it and then uh, come back tomorrow and, and ready to play baseball again. Oh, my goodness. Well, I'm super excited about this. We're going to have you on, so please stick around because we're going to talk about